Hi, I'm Mike of Nearly Enough Dice, and this is the Kerbal Space Program. Right, I have recently... well, there. Over in the distance is Athena 1. Athena 1 is what I have named my science module, what is going to go, hopefully, to the moon. There you go. As you can see, Athena 1 has... Um, Uh, yeah, anyway, it's got these dock, two docking ports, and what I'm hoping to be able to do is to dock boosters on those docking ports. I'm just going to fold those panels out of the way. A lot of parts have been going on there. I should be very ashamed of myself, but the game says it works, so I don't care. Right, so let's go back to here. So, these are the two boosters that I want to attach onto the side. And here is a little tug. Uh, which I'm desperately hoping. There we go. Turn our lights. Uh, control from here. Um, so this is a little RCS tug. Uh, I'm kind of hoping I will be able to use. Um, there we go. Ah, there we go. There it may seem a bit odd that I have to put the brakes on in order to get it to work. But. Alright, I'm just going to rotate it so that the... Maybe I, maybe I should be able to do this with the camera. But I'm trying to rotate it such that the, the way it translates makes sense to me. Uh, right, so I want to turn around. And then I want to rotate it again. Maybe you should have changed the, the lights. There we go. No, that doesn't... no. Oh god. Okay. So left and right do what I, what I expect. Yeah. Uh, but up and down are reversed to where, the way I think they should be. But I'll just have to deal with that. Uh, it's getting away, stop it! Now it's getting too close. Huh? Right, what I should do, can I right click on this and set to, to set as target? There we go. Uh, so we'll just... Do it the oldie fashioned way. And then. Cure my velocity. Relative to it. At least more or less. To rotate it again so the directional controls make some vague sense. And that's exactly the opposite of what I want. That seems to make sense to me. Good, great. Um, <laughs> oh Lord, no, 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 no! I'm wrong, wrong way around again. Oh, this is so annoying.
and uh... right. So my choices are. <laughs> This is going to be lovely. I'm going to enjoy this so much. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is hook on to that. that oh, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, maybe I need to be in chase cam or something. But what I want to do is grab onto. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, oh, you're a pain in the bottom. You are a pain in the bottom. And all, I mean, all, all, all this while, I'm, I'm sure the Athena station is in fact getting further and further away. Um, so the aim is to grab onto this booster as so. Um, decouple. Should turn the panels off at that point. Now I go to. Trying to find Athena one. Set that. Oh, Athena one is my target. Okay. Oh, oh, ah, oh, I see. I'm on the wrong ship. There we go. Right. Now I suspect. I want to set that as my target. And I go ferry things towards it. Obviously I'm a bit I'm gonna be very I'm gonna be off center and stuff. Uh <laughs> this all seems such a good idea. Um, part of the reason that I have, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this slightly mad method of doing things is that um, there doesn't seem to be any ability to... What I really, well, I mean, I, no. what I really want to do is I wanted to have, instead of having to attach things via, uh, radial decouplers, I would have quite liked to have, as you can see, I've got those two boosters there, those two, sorry, docking ports. I would have liked to have set that up with docking ports, done all the docking ports. That's what I would have liked to have done. But I can't work out how to do that in the VAB. I can't work out how to attach things to other things with docking ports that aren't directly radial. I can, I can do that one. I can't do radial docking, uh, you know, sideways docking ports. I can do them directly in, in line, but not sideways. Um, so I then came up with this rather mad plan. Uh, I mean, the tug I thought was a good idea, having little, a little RCS tug that would, uh, you know, move things from one point to another, I thought that was a, a reasonably sensible idea. And then have a, a great big orbital stage that will, you know, enable me to do the orbital maneuvering to get close enough that I'll then be able to do this kind of thing. Right, so I'm just going to go retrograde in preparation for killing my velocity the next time I need to do that.
And uh, yeah, the control scheme is all. all might be able to. Uh, I'm going to have to have a look at it and see if there's things I can do. Like, um, can you invert the steering and, and stuff? So, uh, my up, if, when I get to the situation where my up down is inverted but my left right is not inverted, can I invert the steering? Uh, such that I'm happy to, to move around. Um, you're supposed to wait to be about 90 degrees off. Um, I'm just going to do it now. Oh, that's not irritating at all. This is all going to be very, very slow. If I was Scott Manley, let's just get rid of that. If I was Scott Manley, I would um, be speeding, uh, be editing this and speeding it up. But uh, I have yet to work out a good way of doing that. Uh, this isn't going to be irritating anyway. I may have to think of clever ways of doing this. Not in fact. Doing much more killing my velocity because every time it looks it's beginning to look like um right here, where's uh where's my target? Where's my target indicator? Uh, it's on the other side of that. Maybe up here somewhere. There we go. Okay, so I seem to be going towards it, which is good. Because this thing's so big and bulky, um, I wonder if there wasn't some clever way of doing it. Actually, I wonder if the clever way of doing this is simply not to use the, the follow. Oh, it would help if I was pressing the right button instead of the exact opposite of what I, what I wanted to do. The problem I'm having is that the the adjustments I make to follow the target indicator um, actually adjust my velocity relative to the target as much as moving towards the target would. Right, 0 0.2 meters per second. Okay, 0 0.1, I think that's going to be as good as I'm going to get. So now I need to go find my t the actual target indicator and head towards. And of course, I'm off center. Uh, this is going to be a pain in the bum. 
bottom. I believe I have changed my mind about how I'm going to do this. Um, and I believe I need to kill my velocity very, very quickly. Definitely not doing it this way next time. That was kind of, you know, raise questions how am I going to do it next time? Uh, can I? No, that is stuck there. That's slightly aggravating. That's going to unbalance everything. Right, so those controls. Feel okay. Those are inverters. Right, so up and down are currently going where I want them to go. I cannot change them. Because right, up and down are going the way I want them to go. Uh, but I seem to be able to cope with up and down going different ways. So I'm going to swap the whole thing around. Oh, this is not going to work at all. I may have to completely rethink this whole thing. Yeah, I may have to junk this whole thing and just say, this was a simulation. Uh, this is a simulation about how this doesn't work. Yeah, this is a simulation of how this doesn't work. That's something that I've seen it once. Um, right, let's back off a bit. Go up a bit. And it would be helpful if I pointed now the rocket the rocket engine bit needs to point that way. Now the question is, can I change my camera such that I'm pointing the way I want to point? The answer will appear to be no. Is there a... Oh no, that's, that's wrong. Uh, then I get gimbal lock. I think that's what I want. Yes, that is what I want. And I mean, the fact that the fact of the matter is, I don't even know if this is going to work at all. Um, oh lord. Uh, which way am I going?
this seems so simple in my head. No, this is in fact a stupid, stupid plan and it was never going to work. Okay, no, that's done something useful. And I'm now stuck up against the thing. Let's retract that panel. down being reversed mm -hmm. is irritating. Oh my god, have I done it? Have I bloody done it? I've bloody done it. Right, so... I release... And then I have to get myself into it. I've bloody done it. Yes! This is the stupidest way of doing this. My new way um, is I'm just going to put Werner engines on this on the booster itself and a probe body on the booster itself because then it'll be nice and symmetrical. And well, that means I have to put put um, docking things on the other side of it, so it'll be completely symmetrical. Um, I may have to reverse the way the decouplers work or do something else with the decouplers so the decouplers don't come with. Or, preferably, what I really want to be able to do is make something like this in the actual vehicle bay. Right, so I can I can create that then I only because because I need to um, because of the various needs because I can't actually boost the whole thing up into orbit at once and I need to build it in orbit but I would attach that to a smaller just you know rocket um, much well to look at the other one if I can find it as you can see what I've, ha what I've had to do with this one is I've, I've attached it with a decoupler because that's as far as I can work out the only way I can do it uh, obviously the problem with that is then it gets shot off at high speed and I have to go fetch it um, so let's get back into the it is. Find. Oh man. Find that. And do that whole thing again. Um, but I'm not going to subject you to that, ladies and gentlemen. Because that's going to be boring as hell. Um, well, actually, well, before I do that. And I'm going to control from here. I'm actually going to dock and steal some of the monitor propellant off this. This seems really. Oh, because I'm not actually using RCS at this point. I'm just going to dock and then. Uh, Use some of the RCS, steal some of the RCS from the um, ship itself. Should really get the the docking. Um, which way do things move me at this stage?
Oh, it's a... oh everything's reversed, so I probably just need to rotate my craft completely. Nope. <laughs> No, I was, I, was, I was right the first time. Oh well. Oh. Oh, completely missed. Um, right, let's, make, let's rotate the camera. In this case. Oh, now I can't see that. Uh, back off a bit. Up a bit, forward a bit, down a bit. <laughs> Is that? Oh, am I, am I not even close? That's kind of that's kind of that's kind of pathetic. <laughs> so good this. I think that's going. To, yeah, that's that is going to make it. Right, so last thing to do before I, before I sign off. Uh, uh, oh man, I can't control anything right now. So I need to find the mono, mono tank, which I think I'd put. Oh, I covered it in stuff. So alt click at the mono tank, and then I need to find the mono tank here, and then transfer out. Sweet! Right, I've been Mike of Nearly Enough Dice. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you've been enjoying these videos. Uh, you can find us at nearlyenoughdice.com, which is our role playing game themed podcast and blog. Oh, and until next time. Oh, I've got to do that all again. Uh, until next time. <laughs> remember to reach for the stars. It took forever. <laughs>